welcome to Renovation Sportfish. Well, it's time for a new project. It's kind of an exciting project for me because it's putting things back in the boat to make the boat uh, somewhat as a functional boat. And that's uh, trying to fit up all the steering parts. Now, I'm gonna use a combination of existing parts and new parts. But before I get into the first thing I'm gonna work on, uh, I'm just gonna do a little brief thing on what was there from the factory and um, a little bit on the cleanup of the parts that I took off the boat that I'm going to reuse. So this project is going to be multi-episode, uh, mostly because Mother Nature is not really on my side right now. It's already getting too cold to put epoxy in and have it dry because the temperature's already down into the 30s at night, and I don't see that trending um, in a warmer way right now. It's going towards the winter here. So we'll get as much done as we can and I'll put out this video and then we'll probably have to revisit uh, this project in the springtime when I can do some boxing and fiberglassing. So here's a few pictures of the steering uh, going from starboard to port. Uh, you can see me remove all this in episode 38. And a few pictures of cleaning up the rudders and the tie bar and then a few other components. So I'm just cleaning up the last of the steering components on the boat before I start fitting them back on. This rudder, the shaft, still needs to be cleaned up. That one's already cleaned. And um, this is where one of the rudders came up through this board that was screwed down to the stringers. And uh, there's this piece here. It's like a, I guess, I guess it's gonna be like a bearing surface for this collar, which fits over the rudder, keeps the rudder from dropping down. And it, this collar kind of sat right there and, you know, just spun on it like this when you steered the boat. Um, but the problem was it didn't, didn't wreck this collar, but it, because this board was not in line with the rudder coming up, I guess it was tipped this way, uh, forward. Uh, this would be the transom back here. Uh, it dug into this over the years. Um, so I want to kind of get rid of that before I reuse this piece it's it's thick enough to do it I, I the other one was the same way and um i've already cleaned that one up so i'm gonna just put this on my belt sander and just um sand away until it's as flat and as nice as i can uh, get it So it's time to start installing this stuff or at least fitting it in. This is that tie bar. Um, it's all painted up and nice. We're not going to get to that right away. And nor are we going to get to the hydraulic steering ram there. That's going to be down the road. Uh, first thing we're really going to tackle is getting these rudder ports reinstalled. If you haven't been following along, I did a lot of work back there where these things go. I put new plywood in. I refiberglassed it. So all the holes for these parts are not there anymore. There is the main hole for this underneath in the in the original, in the hull um, that I'm gonna use as a guide, but uh, yeah, none, there's no bolt holes or anything yet. So the first task is to uh, drill all these holes. I'm never gonna get the drill perfectly perpendicular for all these holes. And you can see by these parts that uh, I wouldn't be the first one to not be able to, as you can see, they had to widen that hole a little bit because they didn't get it right. And um, same thing on this one. I'm not sure if that's factory or whatever, but I don't think these things were ever out, so it probably was. So I'm gonna build a guide or a jig to drill these holes uh, as close to uh, aligned as I can from the inside to the outside. So I've already cut a few pieces of Ipe. This is the hardest um, type of wood that I actually have, uh, super hard. So I'm hoping that this, you know, will last for at least two rudder ports. That's all I plan to put in this boat. But um, anyways, I cut two pieces because I want to make this as thick as I can um, just to, to be the best guide I can have if it's thicker. 
So I'm going to screw these two pieces together, um, drill some holes in these things, and um, yeah, let's just get into it and you'll just see me do it. All right, so I'm about to drill the first holes for these rudder ports. This is the uh, starboard side. This is what I have set up on the inside just so uh, I don't blast through the fiberglass and the board there. It's just going to provide a little backing for that. And then I'll go outside and uh, show you what's going to happen out there. Okay, I'm under the boat and um, the bees are driving me nuts today they're all getting crazy it's that time of the year but anyways we got to drill some holes here and get these these things drilled out this is the uh, starboard side rudder port this is the original hole and the plywood that i put in on the inside the new plywood i have to drill through that so uh, this is the hole saw i'm going to use and on the bottom you can see there's some holes in there uh, there's four big ones and two small ones well after thinking about this i think i'm going to put this in here get it in there as a guide and screw this to the inner plywood with a couple of screws. Um, then once that's in there, then I can take my um, jig I made and get it lined up with that hole and that hole saw. And then if you noticed, I left a couple of these holes small and I'm gonna uh, drill and screw this whole thing to the bottom of the boat. So that way I can drill this big hole and then that larger, well, there's two of them, the two larger uh, bolt holes in there. And then once I do that on both sides, then I got to bring this back to the house and drill out these bigger ones, these smaller ones. And um, um, but then I could just bolt the whole thing on because I already have two bolt holes. And then I'll drill out these other two. So I thought I had to just explain that because I'm going to set you up on a tripod so you can watch me do this, but you're not going to know what I'm doing. So anyways, here we go. All right, here we go. And the battery died. We yeah, got it. Bit of a disappointment there. It blew out my fiberglass. I'm kind of a little upset about that. But anyways, I'll do a better job of attaching this piece of plywood up here next time. So on to uh, the other side now. All right, so this side came out much better. I put two pieces down instead of one, and that really held it down good. I also used some wedges to wedge it in there, so it stayed down really well. So yeah, we live and we learn, and uh, now I gotta go home, get that template re-drilled so I can drill the other two holes, and hopefully it all fits together. Well, I went home last night and uh, drilled out my jig for the other two holes. And I also made this little piece here just to, um, instead of having all those boards holding everything down, I just put two long bolts 
in there and uh, the whole jig is all bolted up and I'll show you that in a minute down under the boat before I drill. And um, on this side this morning I came over, I fixed up my mess ups here. <laughs> uh, luckily it was only the first layer of fiberglass so that'll be an easy repair. Okay so this is my jig set up for this morning's drill. Uh, these are the two long bolts that go all the way through from the inside that are holding it on this time. And so I'm just going to drill these other two corner bolts and uh, then we can fit the rudder ports. All right, well, despite my best efforts, I still managed to mess up those holes a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, and uh, over here, just the one on the left there. So all the holes are drilled and it's time to fit the rudder ports. I'm just going to start with these longer ones here. So I can get uh, get it started down below, and then we'll see how it works. This is all temporary. That's basically it. These, of course, are the going to way too long. I'm going to buy new ones, and these they're not even the right ones. These are just temporary, and I still have the two longer bolts in. But, anyways, the proof was to see if all these holes lined up, and I didn't have to do anything crazy, and that's how it fit. So that jig actually worked really, really good. So there we go. All of them fit in there nicely. And uh, yeah, happy. So let's move on to more stuff. Okay, so that is the steering components in. Uh, now I basically whipped these in here really quick just for you guys to see. So uh, what you're seeing, uh, this tie rod, and of course I cleaned it up and, and painted it nice. It used to be on the top here. So that arm over there was high, was high like this one. And then the bottom was where the, the actual steering mechanism was. Um, but I'm, I'm finding and I have the new hydraulic steering um, piece here. Um, this bolt here uh, that it connects to, it goes in okay here, but uh, if, I, if I was going to put it, I was going to put it down here, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. I'd have to take this tiller off to get it to get to change the steering. Just or you got to put it upside down like this, and that's not recommended. They say to do it this way, like that. So I want to stick to what they're doing. I don't want to mess around with steering. 
And uh, another thing I'll get into a little more uh, when we um, start really setting this part up is this hole is too far away from the shaft. Um, uh, if it's out this far, it's going to cause some problems. It's not going to have enough throw. This, this uh, cylinder only has a 7-inch throw, I think. And the original one um, had like a 9.5-inch throw on it. So this one will not go, you know, it won't, it won't turn it as much. So there's some geometry I have to mess with. I'm uh, just going to actually move this hole inwards. And that's actually, per the instructions of this, is more in line with the dimension they give for it. So it, it's probably be pretty good. I'll just leave this thing hanging out here. It doesn't, it's not bothering anything. But anyways, I got to, you can see when I put the rack in, uh, I got to come up with a, a mount over here for it. Here's the mounting area. So I have to come up with something here for it. We'll get into that. That's one of the next things I gotta. I gotta like sit and think now and sketch and mock up stuff because I have to uh, build them out, and I also need to build uh, two two vertical supports over here, and then a horizontal piece that this plate that I cleaned up will sit on, and that basically what's gonna hold up the rudder instead of this little piece of wood I got strapped on here with tie wraps. So that's the next thing. Um, the factory, this, this stringer right here just bumped up like this and the piece of wood sat on here and I have the pieces of wood here so I can show you that at some point. And it came from here all the way over to here. And then they put a secondary support in this area that was not fiberglassed in like the stringers. It was just tabbed in. And it was probably put in by the people that did the steering. Obviously not, I don't think by the people <laughs> that did the stringers because it was easy to get out and there was no limber holes in it or anything. It was really not done, you know, the, the way I would think they would do it. But anyways, we're going to make this, try to make this a little more compact in here so it's not so much junk in this area. And um, as you've seen by the pictures I showed in the beginning, you couldn't even tell what was going on. But yeah, so we're making progress. That's probably going to do it for today for me. Um, steer the boat now. It's almost like I'm in a little sailboat in the cockpit here. But uh, yeah, I can steer the boat now, and um, it's nice to have some little mechanical thing going on because I'm getting tired of all this other junk we're doing here with the fiberglass and stuff. So it's a good change up, something that goes a lot quicker too. But yeah, it was fun to put this in. I enjoyed that. Okay, so I'm here in my little shop and I'm fabricating the supports for the rudders. Um, these will sit on either side of the rudder if the rudder is coming up here. There's one on each side. Then there'll be another piece that goes like this and keeps the rudder from dropping into the water, <laughs> basically. But um, it's a little different than what the factory did. It's a little smaller, compact. But what I'm using here is a three-quarter inch marine grade plywood that I had. I rounded over uh, this, these two sides here and um, and then I fit them all to the boat now. So what I'm doing, uh, what I did last night, was I put four layers of 1708 fiberglass on all of these panels. And this morning, I'm going to trim off all this excess around the edge with my oscillating saw. And then I'm going to sand it all down. And, um, and then do the same thing to the other side. Um, yeah, they're coming out. They're coming out really good. This is a good. I like to doing it this way, all four layers at once on one side. So we'll see how uh, it comes out. It, there's hard. There's no air bubbles <laughs> in there at all. When I do this stuff on the boat, there's always some air bubbles. So that's why I prefer to do things in the shop if I can. It's a little bit more controlled environment. And um, I'm just going to be tabbing these in. I'm not going to be. I wasn't planning on fiberglassing them in like I did with the stringers. Uh, that's what the, the factory did it that way. So, and they didn't even fiberglass the actual wood. They just had, um, I think, uh, one side they used the stringer on one side, and the other side they they just took a piece of mahogany and just tabbed it in very quickly and um, didn't fiberglass it. So, anyways, this is what I'm working on. You'll see the finished product. I'm not filming this because I've filmed fiberglassing like many many times, and I just want to get it done. I'm on a bit of a time crunch. Because uh, next week it's going to be about 80 degrees and I'm hoping I can get these in at least with a fillet and then keep moving on with this part of the project and go back and tab them in uh, permanently next spring. 
All right, well, we jumped ahead. I've got these pieces in. This is the starboard side. I had to take advantage of a couple warm days where I can get some fiberglass in, which is the end of October here. So um, I didn't film anything. I think I said previous videos that I was done filming fiberglass. Um, it's just too stressful and it takes too much time away from actually doing it. So anyways, I had to take advantage. I had to work around work obligations and <laughs> and stuff. So yeah, I've been burning the candle at both ends to get these things in and get them to this stage. Uh, here's the uh, port side in. And um, yeah, I just tabbed them in, but I tabbed all the way across where the hole is for the rudder port. So I'm gonna have to, um, yeah, I didn't want to make like an uneven surface there. So I'm gonna need to sand all this down and re cut those holes. That's not a big deal. But right now, this weekend, I'm going to uh, sand all these down. There's a lot of rough edges. There's a few rough spots. All right. Well, as you can see, these are all in and uh, all the fiberglass is in blended. And I've got my three coats of epoxy on top of everything so that I can sand it down and uh, it'll be ready and done. So uh, I never really looked. I showed you guys these close up here. Uh, I put four layers of, you know, heavy fiberglass on the sides of these. Uh, I tried to do it on these edges, but it wasn't taking well. It wasn't liking this corner, and I have like a little radius on here. So I ended up doing two layers of an eight ounce, I think it was an eight ounce uh, weave. So it's a lighter weight fiberglass. It still was uh, giving me a little bit of fits over here, but I managed to get it done. So that's why you can see the in the grain of the plywood. I'm not going to be doing anything up here. It's really just for a little protection. I'm going to be, you know, as you'll see, I'm going to be putting my uh, brackets and things on this part. So this is the more important part here. So now that that's done, we have to open up the holes. I'll sand it and then open up the holes again. And um, then we can keep moving on with this uh, part of the project. Well, as you can see by this starboard rudder port area, all the sanding is completed. I've even reopened the uh, rudder port hole and the bolt holes. I'll talk about that in a minute. That was like a day and a half of sanding, and um, I have no fingerprints to prove it because a lot of it was hand sanding, especially all in these corners here and everything. So yeah, that was that was a big job. I've had enough sanding. I actually um, almost sanded the entire transom. I mean, if it was warm out, uh, which it isn't that warm enough to paint, I could paint all of that because it is done. But anyways, there's the port one. That's all sanded too. Uh, and uh, now I'm ready to uh, take a bit of a lunch break for one. And then I'm, when I get back, I'm going to uh, put the rudder ports and the rudders back in. So for opening up those holes, I didn't use my drills because the first time I kind of messed up the fiberglass doing that. So um, what I used to, to open up the larger hole is this, um, it's like a spiral cutting bit. It looks like a drill bit, but it's a spiral cutting bit. So I put that on my straight setup Dremel there and you just uh, poke it through and then it cuts by just cutting sideways with this thing. So that opens it up nice. And then I cleaned it up with my sanding disc on this uh, Dremel that I have with my 90 degree attachment on. And then for the bolt holes, I used uh, the straight one with this little bit here. This is what I used to take care of the Joko cracks. And so I just poked that into the hole, enlarged and then enlarged it enough, and then used just this round file to file them out and um, they came out nice and clean with no issues and no damage. Well, I've been working all week at night after work on building these, which I'm gonna call them plates. Um, they're actually gonna be mounted like horizontally and that's where the rudder shaft will poke through these and these will hold up the actual rudders. Um, built them the same way I built the vertical pieces that I had already installed on the boat, four layers of 1708 on each, on each side and then two layers of this thinner fiberglass here on the edge. And I was wondering how I was going to fiberglass all the way around the edge here. And uh, I ended up coming up with this contraption you see here. It's a 12 inch deep um, clamp. And uh, I just centered it in there and it worked out really well. Uh, 
it's had two layers, so the joint is down on this side, which will be up against the transom. So if it's not perfect, I don't care. Uh, and yeah, so there we go. So I gotta sand these down this morning. It's Saturday. I wanna get these over to the boat so I can mark where I need to drill a hole through there for the rudder shaft to come through. And, um, and so that's the next thing I'm gonna be doing. I'm hoping I can get these all situated this weekend and um, I can put out this video. All right, so here I have the starboard side mocked up. Um, I don't actually have the metal to build the brackets right now. So this is as far as I'm gonna take it uh, for now until I order that and can work on that. And um, I also think that's gonna do it for this video. So that's what it's gonna look like. We'll pick it up in the next video. So the next video, I am going to try to build a bracket to mount this steering hydraulic cylinder. It's not gonna go here. It actually goes way up here in no man's land. Um, so I have to build something that's gonna go between here and up to the, the deck up in here. Uh, so this thing can hot, uh, live up in this area. So that's going to be uh, the next video. Like I said, I got to order some stainless steel. Probably going to do a mock-up out of wood first. And that's why I haven't ordered this bracketry for this yet, because I want to order all that it's one, at one time, because uh, I might use some of the same uh, pieces. So anyways, that's what we get to look forward to next time. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And you come back to uh, watch the continuation of the steering system. Uh, fit up and install so yeah until then have a good one we'll see you soon right here on renovations for fish